James asks a good question. What is the difference between APRS.TO and APRS.FI? What does it have that the other one doesn't? Eric, do you have any specifics on what one has over the other? So APRS.TO, you, you can actually uh, sign in for this. The biggest difference is, 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 in my opinion, is the updated maps and the different features you can do. I haven't fully played with it. There's a lot to do on the APRS.2, as you can see from the top screen. But the biggest difference is when you're on APRS.FI, everything, say, you, say you're like me, say there's multiple APRS transmitters, they all just bunch them together. And, but with this one, it separates them. Um, I can't see the screen right now. Like I'm trying to zoom in. Sorry about using having to use the phone. But there's um, like if you look, you'll see tools and search and about they've guys got a ton of information on there. Live packet radar, yeah. APRS passcode generator, ham files, yeah. file hosting, um, yeah. search it, for last heard, latest beacons, announcements and bulletins, latest messages. Yeah, it's a, um, it's, a, it's a neat little website. And when a uh, location beacons, you'll actually see uh, like two little parentheses around it pop out, like weather yeah, just in right I'm, here. I'm, I'm watching some vehicles around here that are moving and beaconing, and it's 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 quite nice to to see that. And then there's a uh, yeah, there's some nodes that are all talking as well. I was on this website, HRSFTO, last year for Dayton. And it was uh, it was it was easier to to follow everybody, so to speak, much easier. I do see a few on the. I uh, think I see a few on on your screen there, but I see, uh, uh, for example, uh, NB nine M um, apparently is has a uh, station sitting over at a firehouse, and it actually says fire station, and it says fire in the little. Um, yeah, yeah, I think there's yep. one of them right there. Yeah, absolutely. If you scroll your if you scroll the cursor over to the uh, the right a little bit into New Jersey into the Parsippany and Booton area, I have a guy. There's a a guy I know. He's running um, APRS. I think it's APRS ICE. It's a piece of software, and he's mm -hmm. able to beacon the locations of hospitals, police stations. Um, you know, emergency numbers. So if you happen to bring up your APRS ZFI app, or you know, your your your, and I actually have heard some truck drivers, some some uh, long haul, oh, what o OTRs, over the road guys. Yeah, OTRs used his to you know to to get help, and it's a it's a nice uh, it's a nice little feature. I'm thinking yeah. I'm kind of having my laptop working. Ooh, are we getting lucky? Yeah, because there's there's APRS dash IS, which allows you to um, you know for Windows 32 bit or you know you can run on a 64 bit yep. machine. You can do the same thing. Yep, um, it's, you can you, you can, you can Raspberry beacon. Pies. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can literally run it on just about anything you want. That yeah, look there you go. There's a hospital. Yep, there's a yeah, hospital. There's a car trying to park on a house. Um. <laughs> That's probably me. And they, they and and so, since we're, I know we're touching on analog EPRS right now. For 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 you guys that are going to be doing it, there are, I forget the the number of different symbols you can use. There's there's all oh, sorts there's, of EPRS. yeah. There's a whole yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah, if you look. I know if you go into the WPSD dashboard, I actually just saw an update that he just did. He's done some more symbols. Yeah, there's, there's, they're right. You just do a quick Google search of it, and there's all sorts of symbols you can do if you're walking, running, backflips, yep. cartwheels. Yep. You know, yeah. And it's, and it, you know, for the, I have yet to change it in mine on my, I should on my three different Zoom spots running. To you PSD, should. But, um, yeah, I'll do it eventually when I got all this time in the world. I can't well, keep I'm my computer running since nice Motorola. That's true. I'm currently trying to track yeah. down the, uh, the IS software. That way I could uh, pop up on your screen. 
Yeah, so you can set it to balloon. You can set it to an ambulance. You can set it to the <laughs> Boy Scouts. You can set it to a rocket. Yep, um, you can do fire, fire navigational server. bully yeah. or buoy. Yeah, it's it's amazing. And, and and for those that don't know, so so a lot of people might be thinking, what is APRS? WB for APRS. A, WB for APR. Unfortunately, now a silent key created this, and there is a lot of great articles website writings about this to uh, me trying to explain aprs completely i the best way i can use it is it's it's really good tracking um i think i just saw a comment that i want to get in there yes not all radios and not all programs will decode all these symbols via rf that is correct the newer supposedly the newer radios um can but yes like like right. like the are, brand new kenwood thd 75 yes yep um Which i is know that 74 as well as I, I know with software updates that any tone does they in, they are supposed to increase the aprs decode list oh yes, nice so they there it is yes there's the symbols list thank you ken Okay, we got off subject. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. And uh you guys can see me okay. Yes. Well you can see you. So let's get you back to... these settings. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Okay. So on the five seven eight, it's gonna be AP AT five one. And on your eight seven eight, it'll be AP AT eight one. Um your call sign, you just put in your call sign. Your SSID, um, whichever symbol you want it to be, and then you've got your symbol table, and then your map icon. So if we go back to, okay, here's a symbol table. All right. So we've got the slash, which starts out. And then our table itself. So dash seven, if I remember correctly, is actually a person, which stands for portable. Yes, because that's what I use. Um, this is the primary table right here. But these are the analog settings right here, um, which also go with these settings right here. Um. The important thing, or one of the important things, is the digipeter path is going to be wide 1 1, comma, wide 2 1. There's no spaces. It's just wide 1 1, comma, wide 2 1. And your uh, APRS transmit, you want to have this set to wide. So you've got narrow or wide. Make sure you set it to wide unless the digipeter or your trying to use is a narrow band digipeter. Um, your sending text will be your call sign or whatever message you want to say, like in mine, um, I can change this to home. Um, Jonathan, good point. Capitalization is important. Um, on the Anytone, I don't think it'll let me put in a lowercase e. Yeah, it won't. It'll only put an uppercase E. So on the Digipeter well, path there, it'll only let you put in yes. Um the transmit delay. Um I've had it working with twelve hundred milliseconds. Um pre wave. I did have that at six hundred milliseconds. I'm not sure why it changed. Uh, Eric, what do you have for your settings? So on mine, yes, my transmit delay is 1,200. Send subtone is off. CTCS is listed as 100. And the pre-wave is set to 12. Um, that's what some of, most of the stuff that came with the um, the new CBS and the, and the, and the, uh, the basic code and the first code plug uh, aren't there they have not changed i pulled this off of cody a while back and i left my net but also in a previous 
Maybe. Uh, not sure if it was you and Adam or if it was Adam and Jeremy and Jeremy, but they found some issues. So the twelve hundred pre wave, I'm pretty sure was a is a um is new because it's a it's a correction and it actually works better. And I set my transmit power to turbo to give me that extra watt, you know. Yeah. It works, but yeah. So sometimes what... you've got to have that extra watt. Mm-hmm. Um it helps. So the pre wave yeah. Um, let's go ahead and highlight that here. Um, time for transmitting empty carriers after reporting APRS. The recommended setting is 1500. So appropriate empty carrier transmit delay improves effectiveness of receiving APRS on the receive unit. So basically what this does is it effectively a delay of how long it transmits a carrier before it drops the carrier to make sure that it got the whole packet. Yep. Um, the CTCSS and the DCS here, um, you can set these to whatever as long as send subtone is off. Yep. These won't matter. Nobody as long as them. send subtone is off. Um, now your transmit frequency for North America, it's 144.3900. And as you can tell, I've got this set for all eight spaces here. And there's a reason for that. When we go over to our channel, and we're just going to fly down here to uh, this. And I don't believe I have a... Oh, I reset this radio. I don't have a local repeater in here. Dun, dun, okay. Dun. Well, we're going to set this for 146.5200. 146.5200. And I just realized I've already got that set and another, but we're going to do it like this. Uh, turbo, 25 kilohertz. APRS report type. I'm going to set to analog. And APRS analog push to talk mode. I can either have it off, so it'll follow the automatic report based on the number of seconds after it keys up, or I can have it automatically do it at the beginning of the transmission before it lets me talk, or the end of the transmission when I'm done talking. So you've got three options here. Um, If I leave it off, it should do the report as soon as it gets the GPS lock after I do the first transmission. Um... Now, APRS report frequency, remember those eight frequency spaces we had earlier on the other one? Um, That's where this comes in. So let's say a digipeter in your area has a different receive frequency. You can set it on one of these other frequency channels right here for that. For me, it's going to be the same regardless. I'm just going to put this simplex uh, 5.2. Click OK. And then I'm going to come over here to zone. I'm going to make a analog zone. Scroll all the way to the bottom of my list because it was the last one I put in. Click OK. Click OK. And write to radio. All right. If CTCSS is off, will it give a bigger range to hit nodes? CTCSS being off just means it's not filtering out via tone. The only people that use CTCSS on eye gates and digipeters are those that don't want them to be public. That's correct. And I, I found one, but nowhere near her. Okay. So my 578 up is up now. All right. And I've got that set for three minutes. For our purposes, let me go ahead and change the APRS interval time to 30 seconds or 60 seconds. And write that back to the radio. So once it gets a GPS lock, it should transmit to the um, eye gate. And then we should be able to see it on 
APRS.TO and APRS.FI. Probably helps if I click the OK button to write to the radio.